welcome back to the channel. Another uh, departure today from the Talking Hands videos. I don't really like showing uh, things you do with an HT from indoors. I think that's uh, sort of wasteful. So I took, uh, took a little walk and uh, today I'm uh, going to show you the continuation of uh, last week's video. We are doing uh, packet radio, proper packet radio connected mode with uh, the uh, Moto Lola V6 and uh, the iPhone. There's a new app that just came out from the creator of Radio Mail and uh, the BB Link. I think I think it's the same person at least. And um, he has a new app for the iPhone. It's called Packet Commander, and uh, that can uh, do packet radio. It's a packet radio terminal that you can use with uh, at least with Bluetooth TNCs. And uh, that's what we'll be doing today. We'll be using the uh, Mobile Link TNC and uh, the uh, ten dollar Motorola B6 uh, handheld and uh, Connecting from my little hillside and uh, to my uh, Raspberry Pi at home, which is running Deerwolf and some uh, custom uh, software. If you are curious to see how that turns out, then uh, please stick around. So putting this together is uh, mostly a matter of uh, well, first turning on the radio, then quickly connecting uh, this one to uh, get away from all the noise. And you connect uh, the cable to the uh, mobile link TNC. And I have some Velcro on the back, so I just stick them together. And that's the, uh, that's the entire setup. With that, we are uh, ready to do uh, packet radio from the iPhone and the Moto Lola B6. This is uh, actually amazingly easy. You just uh, start up the Packet Commander application. And uh, you can uh, go into the setting and you select uh, TNC. And uh, you find your TNC. This, in my case, is the mobile linked uh, TNC four. It could be a THD seventy four, THD seventy five, anything that can do this of uh, Bluetooth. You select that, and you get the little check mark. Then you go back, and uh, you define a node to connect to. You define its call sign. And you give it a name. I'm just going to reuse the call sign. You can give it a frequency if uh, your uh, radio uh, supports changing the frequency. This uh, mobile link will not support doing that on this radio, so I'll just leave it. Uh, the radio is already set to the correct uh, frequency and everything beneath here is uh, just optional. So we'll save that. And uh, with that, you can click on the connection and uh, do connect. You should see the radio transmitting a few times. And there you have the connection. So we'll Logging in, this is uh, my ultra secure password, even uh, shows up in uh, on screen here. Give it a second or two and you should get a command prompt. And there we have it. So, uh, just to show you that this is actually a, a command shell. Let's run the date command and see the date on, uh, on the server. Again, this is... Uh, it's not the fastest way of doing uh, this. I could uh, do it over uh, mobile data. It would be uh, <laughs> probably about a thousand times faster. There we have the date. Let's have a look and see who's uh, logged in. Uh, hopefully that's no one else but me. But uh, yeah, let's find out. Yeah, you can see here I have uh, one login uh, over the network and one login over AX25. Very, very cool. We can check our uh, login user ID. And uh, yeah, this is not really set up to be some sort of a brilliant test. This is just to show that I can actually log in, get a login shell over AX25. Uh, there's no control key here, so I think uh, typing exit is probably the tidiest way of uh, disconnecting. And you should see up in the top corner now, it went from disconnect to close. So it's uh, the AX25 connection is closed, so I can close the app as well. That's all I have for, uh, for today, actually. But uh, this thing is something I've been wanting to do since uh, even before I got licensed. I was uh, looking forward to seeing what I could do with radio and digital modes and actually logging in to a remote server over uh, just radio. Um, it's been an ambition for a long, long time. It, it's always seemed kind of complicated. And uh, I have to say the, uh, the documentation for how to do this, it's not really obvious, at least not to me. I've been working in IT for probably 30 years, uh, so it's, it's not obvious for IT people. Maybe it's, uh, it's uh, more obvious for radio people, I don't know. Um, 
if you are interested in seeing how I did this, I'm uh, going to do a follow-up showing how I configured all the bits uh, to be able to do this. Um, that's something you think you'd be interested in, then please uh, subscribe. Um, if you like this video, then uh, give me a thumbs up. And uh, if you saw something dumb I did, or uh, would uh, rather have me test something else, then please leave a comment. I'm uh, learning a lot from the comments beneath my videos as of late, so please consider leaving a comment. Or uh, even just to say, good work. Uh, I enjoyed that too. Other than that, I think, till next time, I'll just say 7-3. Uh,